going on guys today I'm gonna do a car video I'm gonna tell you guys my top five reasons why I love my car a little background first before I start the video I have had this car since 2010 so it's been seven years I bought it in April of 2010 so it's been exactly a bit over seven years and I know the car inside and out I've been driving it my daily driver, seven years, it's the only car I have, so obviously it has to be my daily driver. This right here is the magnificent beauty. It's super fast, super powerful, 2010 Acura TL. So with that said, let's get this started. the interior guys it's a little dirty so don't mind my mess down here um, the dashboard council steering wheel is great it's on it's 114,000 miles on it it's a little hot today 90 degrees as you can see it's an automatic I was 18 at the time and my parents were also going to drive the car so we got an automatic so it's not bad, but it's not as fun as manual, but it is super fast, so it makes it very fun. So let's put this bad boy on here. How are we gonna do this? Let me get this thing on. All right guys, so I noticed I was having a very bad hair day today. So with that said, I wore this um, fake Gucci hat that I had in the car. I did not want to go back in the house. I'm too lazy to do so. The number one thing I love about this car is speed. This car is fast. This car is packing 305 horsepower, 250 something, I believe, pounds of torque. So this car is fast. A 3.5 liter engine, six speed, or no, it's a five speed. It's five speed, but even so, when you go with nine, 90, 85, 90, it's still rolling about 2,000. Yeah, about two, 2.5. So it's it's super fast. I got into races on highways, like a uh, mature kid as I was back in the day. And I can tell you, I probably beat 90% of them. Um, obviously, there are faster cars out there, but this car is super fast, so 305 horsepower, 250 something pounds of torque with a 3.5 liter engine. You can do the math yourself, it's fast. Number two is reliability. Now this car is super reliable. I've had it for seven years as I said. The only thing I changed, aside from oil, necessary changes such as oil, was the brake pads, the rotors, the tires, which is normal wear and tear, and the battery died on me once. Aside from that, no issues with the transmission, with the engine, no issues on the interior or exterior. Well, exterior, I did hit something once or twice, so there's a little scratch here and there, but nothing major. I haven't spent thousands of dollars repairing the car. Like I said, the only thing I changed aside from tire brakes, etc. Normal wear and tear stuff was the battery, which is also a normal wear and tear. So reliability for a seven-year-old, 114,000, 114,000, 360,000 mile car is really nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, so it's it's super reliable. I mean, Acura is owned by Honda, or Honda is owned by Acura. Vice versa, same thing doesn't matter. So. You know, off the bat, it's reliable. Number three, I would have to go with is comfort. Now, it, it, it does fall under a luxury car, so you can guess that it is comfortable, and it is very comfortable. I went to Chicago two times with this car, back and forth. That's 15 hours of ride there, 15 hours back, twice. Those were, they were my two major road trips with the car. Other than that, I drive to my sister's, 
to my friends who live a couple hours away from me, two and a half, two and a half south, two and a half east, and two and a half west. I have friends all over. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I'm always in the car. I'm always driving. Hence the 115,000 miles almost on the car. So it's very comfortable, super comfortable. The seats, the seats pull you in. It's a sporty car, so it, it, it literally snugs you in the seat. So I, I love it. The leather, I love it. So, so can't beat it. It's awesome. I guess another thing that goes with comfort is luxury. This car is a luxury car. I believe TL stands for total luxury, if I'm not wrong. Uh, it's a luxury car, it has leather seat. It's a base model, so it comes with leather. It doesn't have push start, but it has trip tonic. It has the standard Bluetooth. It does not have a backup camera, because it's a 2010. I don't think backup cameras were well known on basics back then. Um, it has Bluetooth, it has aux it's auxiliary, it has trip tonic. Inside, it's really nothing plastic except for the except for the door handle, which here is plastic. This is the only plastic thing you can find in the car. This is made out of aluminum, aluminum, aluminum metal-ish type thing. The rest of the car is leather, as you can see. The dashboard is leather. The steering wheel is leather. So, luxury, comfort, big plus. It's great, it's amazing. Four, I would say, is um, design and looks. This car looks like a freaking airplane. Whenever someone's driving my car, like my dad, and I'm driving behind them, I love their freaking car. The color may not be the best. I don't know what I was thinking back when I was 18, but I guess I, I always like to be different. I always like to be, I always love to stand out. Um, I, I didn't go with, I should have went with black to be honest, but should have made the whole car black. But I don't know what I was thinking, I got this color. The color is not great, but the looks of the car is like an airmobile. It's like an airplane, I don't know why, but ever since the first time I laid eyes on this car, I noticed how it looks like an airplane. It's just wide, it's aggressive. For a 2010, aggressiveness is just amazing because we can see now, like the 2018 Toyota Camry, it's aggressive. Um, I can see my car or someone driving the same car. Like, I'm looking at the car right now, someone's driving it or parked on the side. It's just amazing. I love the design. I love how wide it is. A lot of cars are not this wide to begin with. Um, especially back then when I first bought it, it was not this wide. I love how angry and aggressive it looks. I love its sportiness, like I said, the speed, the looks. It's just amazing. Inside, interior look is nice too. I love, I love the look of the inside. I love this beige interior color. Um, black on black would have been maybe better, but I don't know, to be honest. So. So yeah, looks, I love the looks, especially the exterior. I don't know why, but that airplane look, I don't know how it looks like an airplane, I can't explain it, but it just does, you know, and it's just a rocket ship, it's, it's just, it's low, it's wide, it's angry, and it just wants to go out there and be driven, be dominated, you know, and I love that about that. And coming to number five, I would say how it feels on the road. It's aggressiveness, as I said, it's weight. It's, it's a heavy, it's a heavy car. So when you, those turns are, are sharp, you know, the turns are sharp, you know, it's aggressive, it's heavy. I love the fact that it's heavy because in the snow and in the rain, it's heaviness really makes, it, you, you can feel that you're safe on the road. Whereas some cars are so light that it, it slides, it goes, when it hits a pothole, you can feel feel it flying to another place um, so it's the weight on this car is amazing I was looking at new cars thinking about buying new cars like the WRX and um, I'm gonna make a separate video asking you guys if I should trade this in for a new car but I was looking at the WRX's and I was looking at their weights and their weights compared to this weight is nothing it's so lightweight and the WRX is more squared in I don't like that I really don't and 
that the weight of a car really does say a lot because the way it feels on the road on a cheap lightweight car like a Toyota Corolla or a Honda Civic those are great cars I'm not saying anything negative about them but it's just it's it's so light that Corolla and I drive it sometimes and it's just like going left going right because it's lightweight you know and it's not a reliable car it's you don't feel safe in it. but with a car like this the weight just like it 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 snugs the road in it's so heavy that when you turn it doesn't feel like you're turning it doesn't give you that you know how some cars just throws you off or like it makes you feel like it's gonna flip over when you're going on that sharp turn it's just so heavy and it's so it grabs the road so nice that you don't feel that and um, I love that about this car it's it's amazing I, um, it's one of the best features I have the way it grabs the road and the way it responds when you when you hit that um we hit the gas but so those were my top five guys to recap it was speed reliability comfort looks the weight aggressiveness um just throw an additional plus in there um the uh the transmission on this car is is amazing i don't know if it like records your driving techniques and it records how you drive but it knows what you're going to do and it knows when to shift and when not to shift. Giving you a quick example, going up a ramp, it downshifts so it can pull the car up, right? Let's say you're going up the ramp, let's say this is the ramp, you're going up and it stops and you're up halfway and you let go of the gas pedal. And when you, in most cars, when you let go of the gas pedal, it'll go to the next shift, right? It'll shift from four to five, from three to four, whatever and it'll make it even harder to get up because it shift. But with this car, if you're halfway up and you let go of the pedal, it's not gonna shift. I don't know why, it, it, it's as if it feels that you're on that hill, that that hill is not over yet. It just does not shift and it stays with the shift it's on, which means when you hit the pedal again, it's gonna pull right up and bring you to the top of that hill. So it knows what you're doing, I don't know. It's not just a hill, it's when I'm going on the highway or something and I'm speeding, right? And I press the gas pedal so low that it downshifts so it can pull you up. And it's revving at three or four. And when you let go, it kind of feels that you're not done speeding yet and it's not shifting. It's still in that fourth shift. And then you keep going and then you let go and then it shifts. I don't know, it just feels like it knows me, it knows how I drive, it knows what I'm gonna do or what I'm going to be doing next, and it, it just it just it just goes with me. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a great car, I love the car. I figured what better way to finish this video other than a car wash. So we're headed to my Number one car wash. Um, if you guys want more car videos about my car, I I know about uh, I know a lot about my car because I've had it for seven years. So please do comment below and let me know what you want to know or what you want to know about this car if you're interested in getting one or what other videos you would like to see about the car. Don't forget to subscribe. Please like and share, and I'll see you guys next.